Hello, and, well, this is OXFU. Welcome to another Let's Play. I'm wonder- I'm guessing you're all wondering why this isn't beyond your Neva. Well, I'll tell ya. Cause I don't know. As you can see, this is Shadow of the Colossus, and this will be a half-blind Let's Play, because I have- I have beaten half of the bosses, but I'm not really comfortable with this game yet. So let's go with it anyway. Um, but yeah, I decided since I dropped my Jet Set Radio Future Let's Play, uh, I need something else to fill in the gaps while I'm not playing Beyond Good and Evil for your entertainment. Um, so yeah, Shadow of the, Shadow of the Colossus. Why not? After all, they're making an HD version of this. Bloom effect. Let's go with it. They're making an HD version of this for the PS3 and X... Uh, uh, for the PS3 as well as beyond they're making the HD version of Beyond Good and Evil, so I figured why not? So here we see our heroes. Uh, I don't remember their names in it at all. We'll call him the Prince because that's what I think he's supposed to be. Not like the Prince of Persia because we don't have any control over the sands of time, but we'll call him the Prince anyway. And the horse uh, I can never remember the horse's name. So for now, oh, it's Agro. I th yeah, Agro. But that's a stupid name. I'm going to call him Epona. Yes. Because this really actually reminds me a lot of The Legend of Zelda. So our stalwart young hero, Link, and Epona, with a lack of carrots. Oh, this looks important. Almost chapel-like, actually. Actually, really chapel-like. Um, I'll show you why, because it's actually kind of shaped like the cross it's supposed to be shaped like. Interesting statues, but I bet they won't be important in any way. That's... that... Okay, either that is exactly the sound effect from Legend of Zelda, or, uh, not Oracle of Time, um, Ocarina of Time and, um, uh, Majora's Mask for Epona, or every single fucking horse sounds exactly the same. I don't know. I'm really curious, actually, now, because that sounds exactly like Epona. So, again, we'll be calling him Epona. I should, I should be quiet. This seem, this looks like it's important. Uh, clipping through the stairs already. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the thing. With the right stick, you can actually control where the camera looks. So I can look up. I can look down. Oh, well, you can't really tell right here. I'll show you in a second. Well, I would be quiet if this guy was actually speaking in English. But he's not. And I'm not really sure what he's talking about. The ability to control beings created with light. In that world, it is said that if one should wish it, one can bring back the souls of the dead. Is our princess dead? But to trespass upon that land is strictly forbidden. Are we in that land? She, she's not dead, right? She's she's just sick or something, right? Uh, this isn't how. Oh, sorry. There you go. See, I can look left. I can look right. I can look up. I can look down. I can look at that horse's ass. But this isn't how things are supposed to go. The princess is supposed to get kidnapped, right? Uh, 
Uh oh. What do these guys want? Get ready, man. I think we're in for a combat tutorial. Or. They're orcs? They're orcs is. Or maybe not. They're Chozo ghosts. Quick, charge up a wave beam. I mean, no, no. Use a super missile. Probably get rid of them, right? Yep. Arms are brewing. They say that that man that possesses the ancient sword came by around these parts. That he came by around that old abandoned Indian burial ground. Yep, things haven't been the same since they built that big old temple on it. Dorman, you fuck. Dorman? Who names their kid Dorman? It's a silly name. <laughs> I shroud. I like that shroud. Is the Kimku? It is all of you, Iveriko. It's no old Amuso. She is dead. If the least do is. But, but. <laughs> Come on, guys, help me out here. I mean, I... oh, haha, -ha. the master sword will grant us power. So, Link, fill up your hearts and you can shoot. Your sword with power. Although I don't think we get. Well, no, we don't. We don't get any beams, of course. But oh well. And that's Jenga. All of these idols. Oh, never mind. You won't be calling in the Wrecking Crew today, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not getting sick. Really, I'm not. Got my OJ. I drank it yesterday. Keeping myself, keeping myself in good shape. So yeah, basically what we're going to be doing is hunting down these 16 colossi and climbing all over them and stabbing them in places unthinkable. Uh, unless this cutscene goes a while long, a, a lot longer, I should be able to, I should be able to, um, I should be able to show the first Colossus, but if not, I'm keeping my eye on the timer this time. If not, we will start off with the very first Colossi next time. So, the guy I actually borrowed this from, my friend John, he's got this on an emulator, except the emulator is screwed up, or the game is, and it doesn't handle Bloom correctly. So, instead of replacing it every time, it just adds on, and on, and on, making it so that this scene right here, where you see it fading out into the scene, would just be pure white. When we get when we get to the desert later, 
you see all these particles building on top of each other, and it just becomes an absolute snowstorm. Come on, we can get going. All right, so our faithful steed, Apona. Uh, how do we call him? Oh, X. Okay. Triangle to jump. Twice to get on. No, no, don't jump on his ass. Get on him. There we go. Aha! We are on our way, and we should have enough time to... We are on our way. This time. And we should have enough time for the first Colossus. But if we don't, and I have to cut it down, um, I will see you guys next time. And hopefully my horse will be running better. And we are going... This way! Yep, basically you focus the beams and you find out which way you're gonna go. So, if this runs over, I will see you guys next time. But I don't think it will, so... Stay tuned.